So I think I fell for the cybersecurity hype. And I'm not happy about it. Uh, I have a previous video about the WGU cybersecurity bachelor's degree and I loved it and I still I still will say that. Um, like many people, I think I fell for the hype of get a security plus. There's so many open jobs, great pay, huge upside. Just got to get in. And I got that security plus and then ended up doing more as I've previously explained, getting my bachelor's, tons of certs. Job search is freaking tough, freaking tough applied for. Now I'm not going for low paying jobs because I make good money now, so I can't take too much of a pay cut. So my, my window of opportunity is much smaller than a lot of people. Um, but I read a very interesting article and it's uh, on a website called Cyber is Full. And it's, it talks about, uh, you know, why I remember getting to cybersecurity and they talk about, oh, there's 700,000 job openings in cybersecurity in the country and it's supposed to go up. And um, those don't have to be filled. There's a thing in cybersecurity called risk acceptance and it um, seems to be a very prominent thing in the industry where instead of paying a bunch of people to maybe protect your company, they are just not hiring them and accepting the potential risk of a cyber attack and maybe the cost offset, maybe they don't. Um, I'm also, again, I, I haven't done much research on who wrote this article, uh, much about him. He's talked to a few people in the industry, uh, even from like C CISOs from Google. Uh, there's ghost job postings where companies just post jobs to look like they're growing to shareholders. So, I mean, they'll post a job, you'll apply, they'll get thousands of applications and then it's gone for a week and it's back up and it's the same job and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But I feel like a lot of people are in the same boat right now. I've seen it on LinkedIn, everyone's talking about it and it's a very, very uh, frustrating thing. Um, and I'm sure if you're watching this, you might feel like you're in the same boat. So I suggest reading the article. I will link it below in the description. Just to check out, it's one page, it's very short, but it's just kind of eye-opening uh, to read. Um, so what I'm thinking now is, well, I'm, I'm doing a lot of the game dev stuff, but I'm focusing on shifting maybe to systems administrator, network administrator, maybe get my CCNA. I have my network plus already, but I feel like that may be a more reliable um, job. I don't know how the, the pay may not be as good, but I mean, honestly, getting in is just a good, good start. So, uh, also I've, I really like the pen testing side of things. I like bug bounties. Um, I've done a few capture the flags and I, yeah, my brain kind of works that way. Um, as far as like constantly trying to break something and I love puzzles and, and trying to do that. So if that's something that interests you, I mean, bug bounties are, can be a great little extra income on top of your, your current job. Plus you get experience. So as far as WGU, the degree in cybersecurity and information assurance, would I do it again? Maybe. They do have a software engineering degree and that's something I may go for instead. Um, another thing I've considered is learning um, more programming languages because I see all kinds of jobs all the time for, for uh, software developers. I, I haven't done much research on the market so I don't know what it's like and what the turnover rate is like but um, I am curious if you are someone who has done a software engineering program or has done it from WGU, I am interested to know your thoughts and you can leave those in the comments below um, for other people as well. I, I'm, if you have any thoughts at all on the cybersecurity field right now, uh, if you're going through the same thing, let me know in the comments below. Um, I wish you the best of luck in navigating the field. I will continue to post content on cybersecurity, possibly IT stuff in general as I, as I learn things. Um, so I hope you stick around for that. Hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.